Alright guys, going to be testing a 2016 Suzuki GSX 600R. Looks really good, I like this paint. Metal flecky. Sorry about the breathing. See, let's go ahead and start her up. Get it out of first. This bike is very tall. <laughs> very tall. Very leaned over too. Like super leaned over. Didn't really want to go into first there for a second. I like this guy's volunteer, Tennessee volunteer's bike. Go balls. Alright now normally I'm a cruiser guy. You know, my bike's over there behind that volunteer's bike, which is very comfortable. And I gotta say, I don't know how you sport bike riders do it, because this is very uncomfortable. <laughs> All right, but this is a demo event put on by Suzuki at Knoxville Suzuki Yamaha Honda. Oh my goodness. Should have adjusted these first. My mirrors. Okay, so we're in fifth gear. 57. <laughs> Doing almost 60 and I'm only pulling 4,000 RPMs. It's crazy. Not a lot of pulling fourth or in fifth gear here. The 60 you can. Oh, okay, I was wrong. <laughs> I wasn't uh, really giving it the beans, as it were, but uh, if I chicken wing it, I can see behind me. Alright, so uh, I didn't really check out the stats about this bike. I wasn't sure what I was going to get to ride when I came in here. To, yeah, six speeds, the uh, sixth is the highest gear. Wasn't sure what I was going to get to ride before I came down here, but uh, you know, I requested this and uh, that's what I got. So kind of lucky. Uh, I gotta say, the bike is incredibly uncomfortable. Also, this I'm pretty sure this model doesn't have ABS. I took a peek at it before I got on it and I didn't see the guide rail for it, so no ABS. I've never, I've ridden one bike that had ABS. I never really got on it. But uh, yeah, like I said, this bike is incredibly uncomfortable when you're sitting still. I gotta say though, once you get going, it's not so bad because uh, right now all the weight is on my wrist unless I take it off with my legs, which is what you're supposed to do, in all fairness. It's what you're supposed to do. Uh, but when you uh, actually give it a little bit of throttle, that torque kicks in and it starts to pull you backwards. And it takes away all that uh, holding your own weight thing. You just kind of give just a little bit of forward bite with your uh, back actually to counteract it out, and then you are fine. And the sound. It sounds great. Test bike, don't kill the test bike. <laughs> okay, it looks like everybody helped me through. I'm in a, in a giant group ride here. 
um, for this demo event. I've never been to a demo event where we did a group ride before. Usually they just hand you the keys and say, you know, come back and be careful. Which, uh, those are pretty good demo events. But I kind of like this. You get a little camaraderie. You get to meet some people in the area that uh, also enjoy motorcycling. So, that's pretty great. But enough about that. Let's talk about this bike. Um, again, the color. I love it. It's fantastic. The amount of power is, uh, it's pretty astonishing. I've, I've ridden sport bike before. Notice I didn't use the plural of that. I used the singular. My, uh, my first motorcycle, my starter, was a 2011 uh, Ninja 250R. And, uh, and I liked the bike. It was good, but it was very uncomfortable. The seat was about as hard as the pavement that I'm currently riding on. <laughs> Gosh, that never gets old. Um, and when I when I finally uh, paid it off, I decided that I wanted to get another motorcycle because I, I like I love motorcycling, I really do. And uh, I wanted it to be something more comfortable. And a friend of mine had a cruiser. He had a 2006 Honda uh, Shadow 750, and that was a fun bike. It was comfortable. You know, it was a a different kind of experience, and it was just something that I knew I could use for long commutes. And it's, you know, unless it's the weekend, all my riding is commuting because of work. And, uh, and so I decided I was going to go with the cruiser, so I got my boulevard, and I, I really do like it. Get out the motorcycle wave there. But, um, I gotta say, man, if you, if you wanted a uh, weekend bike that you don't have to do commuting on and just go out and have, have a blast on, this bike right here can give it all to you. And then some. Uh, it really is more power than you would need for the street. It's, you're going to have to be a, a really mature kind of... You will have to have really matured before you can... Before you really should be getting a bike like this. I mean, do what you want to do. It's your, it's your bike. It's your money. It's your life. But um, You know, if you haven't matured, then... You are going to get all the speeding tickets in the world. You're going to ride completely unsafe. Not like I was doing. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, you'll just, you can end up in a world of hurt. And I, I don't want to see that happen to anybody. I really don't. Some of you may know some people who have had uh, motorcycle accidents. I hope that never happens to you, but uh, it's a very real possibility and you have to be careful about that. And um, a bike like this can just... I don't know. If any of you watch the YouTube channel Regular Car Reviews, that channel they were doing a review of the Hayabusa which is even more insane and a bike I didn't realize could be test ridden on this uh, on this ride which I did know I might have <laughs> I might have given that a go but there this is the last ride of the day I believe and he said that that's the kind of bike that will make you feel like the man that Red Bull energy drink or sorry that monster energy drink insists you are <laughs> I got the I cut the horn <laughs> trying to cancel the turn signal. It rocked me back. I really thought we were going to come uh, front wheel up on that one. I'm pretty sure I'm in A mode right now. I don't know where the mode switch is. Oh, I know where we are. I gotta say, it doesn't feel like this bike really likes being tipped over. I know it does. Whoa, 90, wow. That always flabbergasts me. If you ever watch any video where, let's get up in six, uh, where people go out on one of these group rides that's sponsored by the manufacturers, like this one right here is sponsored by Suzuki. They, <laughs> there's always the occasions where they'll take him out on this road and just let him open the bikes up, which is, uh, I, always, I always thought that they would never do that. <laughs> 
I'm always afraid to even ask him, like, hey, do you mind if I open the bike up? They'll say, give me those keys, no. And shame on you for even asking. And then smack you. But, uh, I think this person's on the, uh, 750 version. No, no, he's on the naked bike. Alright, so he's got the GSS X, I believe, is the naked version. I got the full fared. Also say this, you know, uh, wear a belt and pull up your pants. Um, you guys probably remember from the the Indian review that I did, the Indian Scout, that I said it felt like I was mooning everybody behind me. It feels like it again. I swear, I'm I'm just the worst about this. I need to get some proper fitting pants, I guess. It's more my fault than the bikes. At this point. But, uh, but yeah, you know, um, again, the bike does feel pretty uncomfortable for, uh, for commuting. This is just a, a romp around town kind of bike. Like if you could, uh, if you, I don't know, maybe if you hit some interstates, it wouldn't be so bad. All the starting and stopping is pretty, pretty darn lame. But uh, yeah, gosh, I like this. Couple of people behind us. Camera's moving. <laughs> oh, it's just got a fuel light. I thought it, uh, that's lame. Oh, there's the modes. It doesn't even. I see ABC in there, but how does one do it? Is it through? I'm afraid to hit meter because I have no idea what it does. And I guess that's why I probably should hit it. If we get stopped up here, I'll do it. If it is a mode selector, selector, I don't know if this is one of those bikes where you can change modes on the go. Whoa. Whoa. Okay. <laughs> That's actually the information on the, uh... Oh, God. Bump in the road there. Uh, and another one. Here we go. One of those things they even make, uh, signs for about you <coughs> being on a motorcycle and being careful on them. The road's covered in fine gravel. That's even better. Why not? Let's do that. I do get, gotta get a better camera set up. Looks like we're hitting the interstate. Which is good. I was kind of curious as to how this bad boy would do. The suspension is so stiff. Well, he told us not to pass anybody, but the computer up there just uh, can't, can't ride 55, I guess. Speaking of 55, there's the speed limit. I'm not going to look down. <laughs> well, if you tuck in, I can feel the uh, wind right around my shoulders. I'm gonna speak up just in case you can't hear me. But I can feel the wind right on my shoulders. I got like no, no wind on my helmet at all. It's uh, tucked in on this is pretty amazing. If I get up, I can feel a little wind. I can feel it more on my chest now, but it's not throwing my helmet all over the place, which is surprising. I rode this exact same piece of interstate to come down here to the uh, event on my boulevard and I was getting tossed all over the place left and right I probably should have told the guys at Suzuki this but there was a uh, a wreck up here I get that it must be cleared by now because we would be in stopped traffic by now but yeah okay so on the interstate uh feels pretty good in fifth gear here let's jump it up to six so all right so six gear cruising interstate speed here 70 miles uh, an hour and i'm doing four and a half thousand revs so yeah and uh let's see six six gear roll on oh boy yeah yeah it's got uh it's still got some full 
it's still got quite a lot of pull actually nothing like that uh nothing like that indian scout now that indian scout was a thousand cc's roughly it was like 999 cc's this is only 600 cc's but the way they're geared is just so different and uh gosh that usable okay so there's not as much usable torque right there but i guess because i'm going uphill but uh, the torque seems to be very very in the midpoint on the red uh, rev range around 5,000 ish you get to there and you get a big body torque let's see Oh boy. Yeah, drop two and disappear. Very much, uh, very much as part of this motorcycle's life and vocabulary. Alright, let's just try and one arm it here. Um, the one arm relaxing position isn't as uh, good because you still have to stretch out forward to hold on to the the accelerator engine braking is uh that's not bad actually so i'm going 55 now i'm 50 miles an hour now with engine braking no nothing else gear shifts are smooth like super smooth super smooth Super smooth. Okay. Just instantaneously just revving. Love it. But yeah, this is a. Uh, like I said, this is just not a good bike for commuting. Uh, maybe, uh, you know, give it a ride. Go on one of these demo events, definitely. Do an extended test ride. Don't just do like a five or ten minute ride. This one's going to be closer to 20 is what they told me. Um, but yeah, if you can do even longer than that, please do it. That way you can tell if it's, yeah, if it's something that you're going to find to be not a problem. Maybe the uh, comfort factor just isn't uh, a huge issue for you. Me, I like to I like to ride for a quite a while, you know, hours at a time, and uh, that is a that's a big problem. I don't want to sit there and get off the bike and then have to stretch and then all of these other problems. So, so yeah, uh, take that in mind. Take that into account. You can't just really get an idea of how comfortable a bike is by sitting on it in the showroom. Because it is more comfortable than it feels in the showroom. It, it definitely is that. Get down to second here. You know, the guy that uh, rode this before me said that he did almost this entire ride in first gear. He only got into second gear later on. And I'd believe him. Because I was in second gear right then, and I didn't even get up to 10,000 RPMs. I think I just stopped right at nine. This bike has a lot of engine. These gears have pretty, pretty long legs, honestly. This one of our Wranglers, I guess. Shepherds. back at Suzuki Yamaha Honda of Knoxville for all your Suzuki Yamaha Honda of Knoxville needs hashtag not sponsored they're not sponsoring me I wish they were if you're watching this video sponsor me please <laughs> let me come ride all of your bikes and there we go I wonder if we can do one of these no, gotta pull everything in. <laughs> Yeah, how to do it. Okay. Hmm. Oh, now I'm gear. Okay. There it is. <laughs> Where is the kickstand? I don't even... Alright. 
but that was the bike. Thank you guys. It's just, it's just chilling, and uh, that's that's fantastic. So this bike would be really, really good for people that want to do a lot of highway commuting. Uh,